Hi everybody, this is Roxy and my silhouette stopped uh, cutting a while back. I you know about three weeks ago now. I tried everything to fix it. Um, but what's happening, here's what happened. I was going to cut out a cupcake shape from some cupcake mini album chipboard that I have. So I scanned it in. Da -da 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 -da. I cut it out of copy paper and it cut fine. I cut it out of 110 pound paper and one piece cut fine and then the second piece didn't cut. So then I tried different weights of pattern paper and nothing. And what would happen is, okay here's the, I don't have my blade in right now. This would go through all the motions of driving around but it would not cut through the material. I tried um, everything. I tried vinyl, anything to see if a different, you know, I changed the settings. I did settings for all the proper weights of fab, uh, pa paper. And I even like up the settings to see if maybe, you know, whatever. Nothing happened. So I finally contacted Silhouette, which by the way, they don't even have a phone number you can call anymore. It's all chat, which drives me batty because, oops, avalanche, because it's all this, hi, how are you today? Fine, here's my question, blah, 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 well, Just let me know what your question is. It's just like, I just told you my question. Anyways, so I went through this and that, and they said, oh, it's probably this. It's like, nope, I tried that. It's probably this. Nope, I tried that. It's probably this. Nope, I tried that. Well, then you need a new cutting blade. And I go, well, how do you know? Or cutting strip. And I thought, well, I mean, is there another thing that could be happening? So he had me send a picture of the cutting strip, which goes right here. Oops, here. Here, right here. Right here is, I took it out already. And I'll show vid footage of that. But it's a black strip that runs along here, all the way across. And <clears throat> after years or whatever, how many long of cutting, something, I don't know what it is, eventually puts a groove down here. Now, I noticed that my groove was mostly here because I usually put, you know, it's just kind of like a anal thing. I always put this stuff to cut in this top left corner of the cutting mat. So I thought, well, if it's fine over here, why don't I just go over here and cut? Well, that didn't work. So I'm hoping that, oh, and then I did, I did contact Chad again to see if I could trick somebody into telling me, like maybe, oh, you need to do this. But right away she's like, well, it looks like they were told to order a cutting strip. Did you order it? I'm like, mm, not yet. So then I ordered it off Amazon. Here's another trick. I went to Amazon and there's all these listings for cutting strips. And they both on the chat told me to get a, get a black cutting strip. Well, the Amazon listings, most of them, don't say what color the strip is. It just says for Cameo, see, for Cameo, original one and two or whatever. But the first one I got, I don't have it, I took it back or sent it back, said it was for the Cameo, but the strip was, it was black, but it was only this long, which would have only gone to here. So I had to return that and then got this one from, I think it was scrapbook.com too. Um, you'll see my comments on these places if you if you go there. But anyways, they sent this out and it's white. And I thought, well, they said it has to be black. And so then I went back and found out this is not for the cameo. The first one I got was for the portrait, not the cameo, where it said it was for the cameo. This is for a different kind of cameo, a different size. So you have to just get this black strip. So I ended up going on Silhouette site and getting the black strip because it says black. Amazon listings, it won't say the color. Just go to the Am just go to Silhouette and get this stupid thing. So I'm gonna put it back on. I did, like I said, I I did a video of taking this off. Now this strip has, great, now what? 
has this, I mean, as you can see, has this thick layer of adhesive under this. This is almost like a mylar. So that's, in my video, you'll see where I had to like literally get scraping on that to pull it up because it's separated from the mylar. So you just got to be careful of that. So. So if you can see this black strip, this wasn't peeled up, I just peeled it up. But this gouge is, what's the problem? It doesn't go all the way across because I mostly cut on this side. But anyways, that's what the problem is. So you have to replace that black strip. Now, it's really dirty in here and I'm not normally like that. But I'll clean back there. So I was pulling this up and all this gooey stuff stayed behind. So now I gotta try to get that. Um, now I gotta try to get all that up. I'm trying to do it so that it'll like pull up with the you know me and handheld. You're gonna See what I mean? Okay, I'm trying to I feel like I'm doing this with my feet. I'm trying to look through here and get it. Because then you got to clean all this off. All this extra little sticky. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a find another little tool. I found this from the um, silhouette, the tools that came with the silhouette. Don't look at my icky nails, I'm sorry. Get them done. I haven't worked on them for a while. I'm dry as a bone in winter. And... I don't want to do this all the way across because you have to get it, you have to put the blade housing over here and then it says pull it up and then I don't know how you're supposed to get it past because then you'd have to move that. I don't know. They make it sound so, so easy and it just isn't. And you know what's harder? I'm trying to do this while filming. But this is what I'm up against. Hopefully, once it gets up to that. It's like goo, like tar. And then it said use alcohol, uh, rubbing it. Well, I should drink some alcohol first. I'm just kidding. It says use rubbing alcohol to clean that off. It's like, mm, yeah, no. So I'll probably use some goof off or goo gone. Um, but I will show you what happens next. Okay, I had a scary idea that this might start gouging this piece, the plastic up. So I grabbed hold of that goo that I had up and it's kind of working better. Oh, kind of, I shouldn't have said anything. There. But I seriously don't know. See how that's gouged. So I don't know. I have to clean all that out. And but I don't know how you're supposed to get past uh, the ho blade housing. So maybe what I'll do is cut this. Where am I? All right. Like I said, it's. Like trying to do with your feet. Alright, so I'm gonna put this back over. Oh, and it did say to take the blade out of the housing before you do any of this. Okay, there. Well, now it's easy. Because see, this wasn't. See how this wasn't gouged at all. So that's coming up really easy. Alright, so now I gotta 
clean this mess. I hope that's okay. So be careful. I mean, take a look at your black strip. If it's see, that's like I can get my fingernail in there. If it's gouged like that, your machine's just gonna stop one day, and you'll be crying like I did for three days. Cause I didn't know what you know. I tried everything. And I finally contacted them. They had me send a picture of the strip and said, you need a new black strip. Goodbye. And it was on chat. They don't take any calls anymore. It's only chat. So, all right. I'll be back. Okay, so I thought I better just do alcohol. Uh, rubbing alcohol. Because Goo Gone can get kind of oily. So we'll see if this even works. They said ad adhesive remover. That would be goo gone, right? Yeah, this isn't working. That's coming. I don't know how you're going to get this on, or how I'm going to get this on, to go, because you put half down, and then it says to move the carriage over, and I don't know how you, that was going to work. Did I do that? No. There. But, I ordered one on Amazon, so be careful if you have to order one. I went to, it was through Craft Direct, and the way they had it listed was, um, Cutter, what is it, cutter strip for silhouette. And when you go down below, it says, it's really convoluted, they got it goofed up. It's the what came. All right, son. this one. Replacement cutting strip for silhouette. Then you could have said silhouette portrait. I'm going to post a comment about that too because other people, other people got goofed up. See this one, yeah. They had to replace it with vinyl adhesive strip. Cultivate. So anyways, um, okay, so when I get the strip, which I don't have it now because I have the little one, I will uh, finish the careful of that. So I'm going to attempt, do I have my, I got my glasses on, okay. I'm going to attempt to put this on here without any swearing. I'm just kidding. And they said to keep this over here. So... Here we go. And see this, okay, <clears throat> now right away it says it's from 2015, where this white one says 2016. So I hope this hasn't been sitting around their warehouse for, you know, two years. Another thing, they shipped it in this humongous cardboard flat mailer, and this is how it came. All chumped up, stepped on or whatever. Anyways, okay, here we go. I'm nervous, so it's long enough. So there, just supposed to start it off a little bit. Get it down there. Nice and flat. And then the rest of it you just want to put it under here and then I'm going to tear this off. And then this carriage will supposedly go right over it.
Yeah, it's going crooked. Trying to put one of those stupid plastic covers on your phone. Yeah, it's hard to keep it straight, so you gotta be careful. I hope I'm not gonna. What's this garbage here? Gonna check it again. There. All right. And then it should be ready to go. All right. So I will. Go so we'll plug it back in. You gotta plug it all. Unplug it all too, by the way. And we'll go plug it in and see how it goes.